Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. And today, mate, cameraman, we are on a trip. We're on a mission. We've jumped in van early this morning and we're driving down to Coventry. So what, it's about two hours, isn't it, cameraman? Two and a half hours from where we are. Just steady driving van because I'm off to see this young lad, right? Ten year old and he is the world's strongest ten year old, let me tell you. So I've had a quick look, snippets in paper. I'm thinking, I'm a bit worried to be honest because he can, what they call it, deadlift. He can deadlift some right stuff and I'm thinking if he might be able to deadlift me, could definitely deadlift a kebab. Somebody said to me, so editor says, Dan, what can you deadlift? This is about three burgers and a milkshake. <laughs> so, but we're off to Coventry to meet up with him, get a takeaway, and I'm gonna have a chat and talk about his journey so far, becoming famous at 10 year old for lifting weights and how the heck has he got that strong? I want to know what he's eating. Is he eating spinach, pizzas, burgers, chicken nuggets or is he just on salad? I don't know. Let's go see him. Come on cameraman. And you're worried aren't you? He's thinking, oh, I thought I was strong one. Let's see. 10 year old bosh. Well we are here cameraman. This kid's bringing, bringing us to, to hospital. <laughs> so we're meeting him at a gym. Now, you guys know me, the only gym I go to is the gym where they sell Mars bars. So they better have a vending machine in here. They better be selling chocolate or something like that because it scares me to death when you go in gym. There's all these people working out, exercising. Not for me. What's worrying me, all right, is, is I'm going to let this lad choose something for us to eat. Not seen no takeaways yet. <laughs> Thinking, well, need, need to have something to eat. What's going on here? People walking dogs. What's this? This are they? Auctioneers, valuers. Yeah, maybe they could auctioneers. I'm old. Maybe they can auction me off. Well, right, guys. We are on the road. We are looking for a gym. Right, keep your eyes peeled. Peel them. What, what does that mean? Keep your eyes peeled. Why do people say that? You know, there's lots of you going to fetch tater peeler out and start peeling your eyeballs. Uh, we're doing a lot of in and out now here. What was that barbell? Here we go, Barbell Training Complex, here we go. I'm going to go, I'm off to the gym, I'm off to the gym, I'm off to the gym. Little, 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 I'm off to the gym. I'm going to come out, I'm going to look buff. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to come out like that. What have you done, Dan? I've just looked at somebody lifting weights. <laughs> no gym parking before 5.45 p.m. No parking, no parking. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So I'm reckoning we're just in here. Hey, oh, big, big sign above shutters gives it away. Oh, where are we going? I'm going to park here. See how I'm not looking just getting in. I can come on. I can get here. All right, we'll see how we get on. All right, let's go see if we can go find this lad and see what's happening. I'm excited about this. Come on. Right, cameraman. Let's go. Weightlifting. Powerlifting. Burger lifting, <laughs> pizza lifting. That's all I do. Kebab lifting, burger lifting. Oh, oh here we go. Da, 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 da. I just want to say as well, anybody that attended uh, the meet and greet that we had last weekend, thank you very much. We absolutely loved it. We love seeing you all. A lot of you got to meet cameraman, so that well, that was pretty cool for you. It's not cool for me because I see him every day looking back at me, smiling, thinking, Oh, good. When are we finished? But anyway, let's go. Let's see what's going on with this kid and powerlifting. Come on. Here we go. Look at this. Shutters opening. Cameraman, who's this? Uh, it's like a big reveal. Should have some dra editor dramatic music. Uh, Looks like fight night. Whoa, here we go. How are you doing? Eh, yeah, I'm all right. Nice to meet you, Owen. So, guys, this is. Whoa, that's really brought me on there, man, isn't it? So, this lad here, you, you can lift weights, can't you? Can you lift me? Maybe. Maybe. Wow, look at this. This is a place, this, isn't it, mate? Yeah, look at this. So, do you lift all you You go on all these? Do you? So, how much is on here now? 70 kilo. Ooh. So I mate, I've come down here today to chat to you about what you do, but also get a takeaway. Because I like what 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 takeaway are we having from left it to you. We're having a pizza. Pizza. Ah, pizza cameraman. Not had pizza for a while, you know, because 
sometimes it's a bit difficult to reveal pizza, but I'm sure me and you can sort it together, can't we? Yeah. So, so we get table set up, and then get, because do you know what, mate? I've only fits one chair. Uh, how bad is that? Can't fits one chair? We've, we've got some seats in here somewhere, haven't we? Or we'll have to sit on the bench or something. Yeah. Right, come up, where can we go here? So I'll set, get this set out. Oh, you've got your chair, look, get in. Right, get my chair out. Table. So have you, have you, so have you watched me before on Rate My yeah, Table? Yeah, watch all the time. Watch me all the time, so you know what this is then, the famous yeah. table. All right, so we'll, we'll pop that there. How are we having it, camera? Like that, like that, straight on, like that. There you go. This is what I do sometimes. Right, mate, let's get chairs sorted. So if I go sort of like here, and you'll go there, that's it. Look at that, sorted. Right, so you know what I do now, don't you? Put the old knacker cracker away, make sure I'm not flashing nobody from the backside. And then it's chair test. So you've got a decent chair here, haven't you? Looks a bit look at state of mine here, mate. Huh? Right, let's have a seat. Ready? Chair test. Whoa. There we go. I'm older and bigger than you, so we're alright. So we can move in a bit if you want. Do you watch Simpsons? Um you sometimes. Like, yeah? So I took this to America and I had a, a bloke sat around the table called Josh Weinstein and he was a producer and creator at Simpsons from series two to nine. So it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to draw, you know, sit down with everybody and write all the stories, and and then they'd, they'd create the create the cartoons. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you sat here now, and he's, he's been eating his dinner off here. <laughs> <laughs> and he was more shell socked to be with me than I was. I'm like, whoa, man, I can't believe it. Sure, he's like, whoa, I'm a big fan. So it's weird, but I think it's great that I'm sat here with you because I'm looking around here and I can see all these these big guys here and they're lifting all these weights, and I'm thinking there's no way that you can lift all like this, can you? Yeah. Can you? Can you? So, so we order some food, right? Because we want some pizza, and then we'll have a chat and we'll talk about what you're doing here and what it's all about. It's scary, mate. To be honest, I don't usually go to gyms. I only go to gyms if they do Mars bars. So you've told me you like pizza, all right? And you've got a good one down there, don't you? What's it called? Dome Brew. Dome Brew. So we'll give Dome Brew a ring. All right. What pizzas am I having? So Winston and a Mark. So Winston and a Mark. Right. Let's go, let's give him a bell. So, you've told me a number, let's go for it. Let's give him a ring. What are we having? Mark and uh, Sir Winston. And some chicken. And some, and some chicken. Would you like blue cheese? Dip. So we get some blue, I'll see if they've got some. I hope they're open. Maybe. I hope so, I'm ringing. Hiya mate, am I to place an order please? Yep. Can I have a, is it a Mark pizza? Yeah, and then a Sir Winston. And then what chicken wings do you do, mate? Can I have some Korean, please? Do you do a blue cheese dip? Oh, the blue cheese dip. So it's going to, what they call the place, is it? It's Barbell Gym, isn't it? Barbell Training yeah. Complex. The Barbell Training Complex, please, mate. Yeah. And how much will that be, mate? Lovely, thank you. How long will it be, Tom? That's great, thank you. Thank you very much. So it's 35.95. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, they better be good pizzas, these. <laughs> so you're looking like 15 quid a pizza, 5 quid, 5.95 for chicken wings. Yeah. All right, so they're going to be about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So we can have a chat, can't we? So we're here, we're in the gym. All right, if I'm honest with you, I'm pretty scared being in here because when I think of a gym, I think of, first of all, the things like treadmills and bikes and rowing machines, but I've come in here and it just looks like it's loads of blo big blocks lifting weights. Uh, and then you're here. So what do you do here then? Well, it's something called SPD. It's like deadlift, um, bench press and back squat. Right. So how did you get into this? Well, my I've always like grew up in the gym environment and my dad used to run events and stuff like that. Right. So you started off, how old were you when you first started lifting weights, can you remember? As soon as I could walk. <laughs> as soon as you could walk? By heck, so that's, uh, that's what, that's probably about eight, 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 about two then, two, three I reckon. One. One? One? You're walking, so you're walking at one, and then you're lifting heaviest weights at ten. Are you sure you're not like Spider-Man or something like that? Maybe. Maybe. If, well, if you are, alright, we'll rob that bank together and you can carry me off and we'll take all loot. <laughs> So, what? what do people think about you doing this? Some people, some people really like it, but some yeah. people just think you shouldn't be doing it. Why? 
Why do you think that is? People think that it will like damage my spine and yeah. but loads of people loads of people think I'm gonna hurt myself, but yeah. I do <coughs> I try and do it like as best so as when, I can. So when you are training, because he over here, oh that is his dad. So he's like, he lies, is your dad with you all the time? His ear yeah. looks smiling. Give him, give him a wave. There you go. There he is. Hey! So your dad's here all the time when you're training. So I yeah. suppose he's always watching, making sure that you've got the right equipment and that you, you know that you're doing it right. And uh, or do you tell your dad to do it right like that? So you say to your dad, hey, that's not right. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. That's what I used to do with my dad. Does he listen to you? Not all the time. No, and I bet he'll say that about you. I <laughs> won't, he'll say, don't listen to me all the time. So, can you lift more than your dad? Um, I'm not sure how much my dad weighs, but I, can, I, bet, I think I can lift a little bit, yeah. little bit under how much he How much he can lift. Is, that, is it? So pound for pound, you're stronger than your dad. Are you? I mean, do you think I'm strong? Later, we can see if we can lift that, but, then we'll try. But we'll have a go at lifting strong. that, so we have a go. Then, then I'll see if he's strong. Yeah, so we have a go, cameraman. Let's come on then, you show me. You're going to have to, right, so I'm going to be honest with you now. I've never done weightlifting, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Hey, oh, whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> so what, what's this for? What? This is just to load the bar and to get it. So that loads it onto there, ready to go. Yeah, right. So what do you do? So you have to teach, talk me through it now. Because is it, is it outstanding? Do you have to lift with your legs, bend your legs? Well, you have to bend your legs so then this bit's straight. Yeah. And have both hands on the bar. You can either have it knuckle facing down or knuckle facing over. Right. Or both knuckle facing up. I do it like this. Get your feet like shoulder So up. you're doing it like mixed match there, are you? So you've got yeah. one like that, one like that. Yeah. So how much weight's on here right now? This is 70 kilo. Right. So is that because, how much does the bar weigh then? Because uh, I'm new to this. I, I, I ain't got a clue. So the bar is 20, both right. of these are 25. Right. So that's 50, and this is 30. I mean, 70. 70, yeah. Right then, let's, so you're gonna lift this now? Yeah. Well, let's go, 70 kilos, gonna go for it. So it looks like, so what are you doing there? So you're going down, bending your legs, and then when you come up, you're getting straight. Is that what yeah. it is? Right, let's have a go. Should be a bit of this. Yeah. So, no put pressure. me knacker cracker away. No pressure, there's no, but it's only 70 kilo. That's not much, is it? Eh? I should be able to blast this, I reckon. Right, so, like that, is that all right? So try and get to the middle, like one foot here, one foot there. Oh, like that, yeah. And then, See what you, ha what, what you want your hands if to If I like. go like that, so do I bend my legs a little bit, yeah. is that all right? And then, yeah. I'm, I'm, and then I'm coming straight up like that. Try and keep your back as flat as you can. Nice and flat like that, yeah. I've not got, I've, I've got a funny back me. I'm, I'm like an hunchback, I lean over like that. So I've got to get, <laughs> right, there we go. So like that and straight up, yeah? Yep. Oh, break your neck. Oh, I ain't gonna get, oh. Have you changed these up? Nope. There's no magnets in out under here, is there? No. Are you kidding me? Eh? I've never been to a gym in my life. Are you kidding me? Somebody's, you, he's doing it here, aren't you? Have you got something under here? Because I'm lifting this. Have another go. I'm not having that. <laughs> no, I'm not having that. That's going to do my back in. Right, let's go sit down. How about put a bit more weight? Put a bit more weight on? Yeah. Well, I will when I eat these pizzas. Are you going to put some more on here? Yeah. Right, let's go. How much have you got on there? <laughs> I like that, 190 and a quick smile. So what you're doing now, so you put the bar back up. And then, I'm, oh, add these, which on, is... There's somewhat under here, I'm telling you, these lads are having my life, there's no way he's lifting this. So how, how much is this that's going on now? So, with both the yellows, it's 100 kilo. So this is going to be 100 kilo? Yeah. Up here comes your dad, look, he's got your belt, he's, he's, he's double checking, making sure that everything's all right, look. So all you're out there that are saying he shouldn't be lifting, he's got dad on hand, he's got this guy, that, they're all at it here. He's very slim in the back. Oh, is this guy here, what are you doing? <laughs> Chilling. You look a big lad. Yeah. 
So what, what do you, how, how much can you lift? Yeah, I'm a young strongest man, I'm 23, uh, world record deadlift holder. Well, what? World record deadlift holder, I'm 23. Right. Uh, British shot put champion, five times. Shot put? Yeah. Right, so if you thought I would take it, Mick, there, I'm sorry, I wasn't. I don't want you picking me up and throwing me down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but no, well done. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. If, I, if I'm honest with you, mate, his grip's stronger. Right, so this is 100. Yeah. Right, mate, we're chalked up, we're ready to go. 100 kilo. Pressure's not on you anymore, it's on me. <laughs> I can't even lift 70. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm, I, I am just going to just try and have a little pull, but I can't see myself getting very far, like, to be honest. I'm just going to have to try and have a go. Here we go. Right. Oh. <coughs> Mate, I ain't even going to have a go. I, I'm being serious here. I'm not looking about for camera. Did you seriously just pick that up? Eh? Let's sit down for a pizza, because... So what does belt do? Does that, does that, I bet that was, that's what makes you lift, isn't it? I needed a belt, that's what it was. <laughs> well, I've got to say, I'm going to fist bump you here, bang, because that was amazing. I've never, <laughs> when I get home today, right, so my, my lad George, he's, he's 11, so he's a year older than you. When I get home and tell him that I couldn't even lift that off the floor, I got one side up about that much, but you're lifting it up there. I ain't ashamed to say, wow, well, that's amazing, you are strong. <laughs> so, so I'm worried now, if this pizza's no good, I hope you're not going to pick me up and throw me out that, uh, that door there. No, not today. No. So what's it like coming here every day? Do you come every day? I or? come four to five days a week. Four to five days a week? Yeah. So what's it like coming here and being around all these guys? And well, it's, it's really nice because like, some people, well, there's no one in here that's like this, but like, everyone, everyone's like, really, really nice. Yeah. And whenever I'm lifting, someone will just give me a bit of advice. Advice, encouragement. So have you ever found it sometimes where, so like that there, you've obviously you've, you've just beat me. All right, has that ever happened before where some, some guys have come in and then you're lifting a little bit more than them? Sometimes. Yeah? And are, are they all right with that or do they get a bit competitive? Some, some people are really shocked about it. Yeah? Like, when I did my last novice competition, Yeah. As soon as I walked in, there was people looking at me like, he's going to compete. And then when I did my highest deadlift, people were so shocked. Right. And I think that's because, obviously, at one, your age. So if they see you walking, they might be thinking that you've come to, you know, help your dad out or, you know, give somebody a bottle of water. So then you'll start picking weights up. They're thinking, oh, my God, what's going on here? Because I would. I mean, to be honest with you, I, I, I'm a bit shell-shocked. Obviously, I knew that I was coming to meet you today and I'm, seeing that you'd been in paper and all this and people are talking about it and I thought to myself 100 kilo ain't that much because I, I used to uh, deliver meat for the butchers and I'd have like five kilo packs of chicken so I'd carry a few of them you know what I mean but I'm thinking to myself now I need to carry more chicken because I can't even lift that but I think at most I'd probably carry about 20 kilo you know a couple of bags that is just amazing We've got the cash ready, so it's, it's on me. I'm going to treat you today, all right? Because your dad said he don't give you much pocket money because you're saving up, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, where's he gone? Here he is, look, here he is. Hey, mate, you all right? Good. Not bad. This is a bit of a weird delivery for you, isn't it? Or did you deliver here all the time? No, this is uh, first time, isn't it? First time. I'm not really a gym kind of guy. Well, you're not on your own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wings. And then we've got a couple of pieces for you. Lovely. You had Neapolitan pizza before? No. Well, I have had one, but I've not had one from here. But if you want, have you had one of these before? Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, Neapolitan pizza, it's a uh, thin crust, uh, thin, thin base, big puffy crust. But the, the thing is, it's not supposed to hold its own weight. So, right. when, when you take up a slice, fold the end over. So, yeah. you kind of fold it in half, fold the end over, shove it in. 
There you go. Thank you very much, because I've there had a few go. of these. There's the more. And, wow. And there's your Winston. Oh, I can't wait for this. No problem. Uh, that looks good. So, how much are you saying, well, mate? 35.95. Look at that, bang on. Fantastic. There you go. Thank you very Brilliant. much, sir. Cheers. Thank you. Enjoy. See you later, guys. Right. See you, mate. Yeah. Oh, they smell nice, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, let me get rid of my phone, and then we'll get some, some dinner out, and we'll have a try, and we'll have a chat. So, this will hurt Mark, won't it? Look at that. So, it's mac and cheese. <laughs> Mac and cheese on a pizza with a bit of crispy bacon. All right, straight away it's got nice burnt edges. So you've watched me on Rate My Takeaway, haven't you? So you know what, what sort of what I'm going to be saying and doing. But also, I want you to talk about the food as well. And this is the Winston. So this looks like it's a bit of pulled beef. Oh, look at that on there. It does look nice. Mm. Smells nice, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we have some chicken wings. Let's have a look at these. So these are the. Whoa, look at them. Oh, they smell nice. Can you smell that when I open the box? Yeah. Yes. So you've taught me through what you do. I'll talk you through what I do, eight food. <laughs> and this looks like it's the blue, blue cheese dip. So we can dip pizzas in there. So, we need to wet the whistle. So do you want to go grab a couple of bottles of water off, off that guy and I'll, I'll pay him in a minute. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get cracking. Thank you very much, mate. Because I can see it thin crust, I can see the charring. The toppings look great, so I can't wait to get into this. So, chicken wings. So we'll try the chicken wings first. All right, we ain't got no napkins, so we'll just have to get down and dirty with this. Right, I'm going to let you grab your first, the first wing. Uh, I'll grab this one. That one. Good call. I'll have this one. Right, away we go. Let's have a taste of this. So go for it, mate. Oh, look at them. They look good, them, you know. Oh. Mm. Pretty good. They're nice. So a bit of a, a sweet taste, and there's a slight little bit of spice there, I think, and then what do you think? <laughs> I think it's like what you said. It's really, really good. Yeah, tastes well. And, I'm going to have another one. So with the sauce, I've got a nice little bit of sauce there. All right. It's been sprinkled with fried dried onions. Mm. But the actual chicken is absolutely gorgeous. It's nice and tender. Mm. It's got a little bit of spicy, smoky flavour to it. Very good. Mm. What's your verdict on wings? Pardon? What's your verdict on them? Do you think they're good? They're yeah, nice? really, really good. Tasty? So, you dig in. Mm. You have another one. So what, with your training, do you, do you eat pizzas and stuff? Or just a treat? Well, I eat like a normal child. Yeah? Like, but a bit more calories and stuff like that. All right. More, like, healthy food. Yeah? So, so your mates are all out having burgers all the time. What would you have? Well, I like to have chicken, like, Pizza, that's like, yep. like a normal pizza. Um, fish, fish, rice. Oh, do you like fish? Mm. Yeah, that's good, that, because I'm not a right lover of fish. So, right, I'm going to wet the whistle now. You see me do this, I'm like, wet the whistle. <laughs> so, get the flavour away, and then that gets me ready for the next piece. Oh, it tastes like water. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like drinking lots of water? You have to drink lots of water because you're yeah. training. Keep you hydrated and all that kind of stuff. I have like four, three litres a day. Oh, yeah. So this one, it looks a bit funky really because it's got mac and cheese and bits of ham on. Is this, is this your pizza? Is this the yeah. one that you like? So I'm going to try this first and we'll go in for this. So I'll let you finish that wing. I'm going to move the water out of the way and I'm going to do a bit of a swap shop <coughs> so we can see what's happening. Pizzas, I've heard that you're open to go on a tour, aren't you? Yeah, and where are you open to go? Um, America. And why is that? Because in this country, I can't like compete powerlifting until I'm in 30, over, over 13. Right. So. But in America, you can? Yeah, in America, I can. And what's the most, what's the record lifted for your age then? Um, the deadlift is 111. Right. And my dad left is 115. Get away. So you're going to go to America and become 
possibly the world's strongest kid, aren't you? Not possibly, I am. I am, I like it, I like the confidence there. So basically I'm sat here eating pizza with world's strongest kid at 10 year old, oh my God. <laughs> I can't wait. Right, when is it that? When are you hoping um, to go? August. August, And because you're fundraising for it, aren't you? Yeah. So have you, uh, have, your dad was saying to me, you've got a just giving page, is that yeah. right? So we'll, we'll bang that in the description. And then if anybody wants to help Rowan get to America so you can live your dream, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll be following you now because I, I want to be saying I have definitely been out beaten by well strongest kid. And at least then it's not too bad for me, is it? <laughs> right. Dig in. You grab a slice of pizza. I'll grab a slice. And let's try this one. So this is the mac and cheese with a bit of... Like pan gonna come. <laughs> Just rip it off. So can you remember what the guy said? So get it, pull it off, and then just fold it over. That's it, before toppings fall off. So bang them toppings, that's it. Get your hands in. <laughs> I'll grab a piece. So we get it, fold it over. Bosh, look at that, yes. Here we go. Let's have a go at this. Yeah, you know what? It's all right, that, isn't it? Yeah. You can see why you like this. It's a bit weird. Having pasta on a pizza, but then it sort of makes sense because it's Italian, isn't it? Yeah. First bite is weird, but and the rest are really good. Because mm. you taste it, really strong with cheese. Pasta's cooked nice, and in that bit of pancetta bacon's really good. Mm. Right, I'm going to go in with this. So, do you like blue cheese? So I'll put some on here, and then people can't say that we double dip in and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> there you go. Right, so this is the blue cheese I love. With pizzas dipping into stuff like this mayo and yeah what do you think to that it's pretty good so do you know whereabouts in america it's going to be happening i'm not too sure i forgot where it is but Let's, dad do we know whereabouts in america arizona, arizona. Wow. so 5th of august in arizona mm. now that's a place to go i think they do a lot of good ribs out there you know but they'll do good, good pizzas everywhere. When, when, when I went to America, you get slices, big slices for a dollar. Whoa. I'll find a place, I'll definitely tell you. Will you? Yeah. I've stuffed too much in my mouth. <laughs> well, when you're out there, right, when, when you need to get some calories and then you do it, get your dad to video you. And you send it to me. I can have a look at them. Definitely. another one of them, or should we try this one? Oh, Straight this first. Look like at this, straight in front of me, I like you. So he's like, I've seen your videos, I've seen that you go from one thing to another, I want a slice of this first. <laughs> so, I'm going to nick this little bit. So at home then, obviously you and your dad, your mum, have you got any brothers and sisters? <laughs> I've got one sister. One sister? And does she power lift? No, she's a dancer. She's a dancer, how old is she? She's two. Oh, so she, she, she's dancing at two. My God. <laughs> so it, mu it, must be, it must be pizzas that you're having in your family. Your mum must be whipping out and getting some of these pizzas down here, and then your sister's dancing, you're powerlifting. Yeah, what does your dad do? Just um, get on your mum's nerves? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's move this one here. We'll swap. Moving about so cameraman can see. He starts having a go at me all the time, telling me to move chicken wings out of the way and all this kind of stuff. Move dips and that. So this looks like it's possibly got a bit of blue cheese on here. Mm -hmm. With some, it's either going to be pulled beef or pulled pork. Looks good though, a bit of red onion. So I'm going to pull a slice off of this and start having a go while you finish that off. So, ah, yeah, you see, so this one, it's not as heavy as the other, but the toppings... You do, because it's a Neapolitan pizza, do, you do need to fold it over. So you'll make like a little sandwich. Mm. So the base is nice and thin, same as that one. It's got a beautiful charring on the edge there. Smells great. I can't wait to taste this. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So you've got the pulled beef there, you've got the cheese, the onion. Do you want a slice? You having a go? The pizza itself, the actual dough on the base is absolutely amazing. The tomato sauce is gorgeous. It's not got a bit of a tang to it at all, it's just probably just about right. This is a top class pizza. Oh yeah. So sometimes 
when you're buying pizzas, pizza, you can buy some that are going to cost you a fiver from a takeaway, or you can buy some that are going to cost you 15 quid each like this. I think these are probably better value for money because there's a lot of flavour in them, a lot of taste. Mm. Let's get me dip this in the blue, blue cheese sauce. Oh, oh, let's have a look at this camera, Mum. Pull it apart, look. Oh, oh, we've got the onion there. Beef, cheese, we've got the tomato sauce. On a really, really thin base. Look at that. Cooked to perfection with the charring on the edge. This is just how I like my pizzas, to be honest. Fold it over, look at that. I'd rather just eat it like that, to be honest. Quick dip. Wow. It's probably the best pizzas I've ever had. <laughs> is that why you like them so much? Yeah. So what do you reckon to this one? Because it's a different one. Do you like it? Mm. Do you like it better than that one? Or do you still like that one? They're about the same, but mm. this one has a little bit more flavour. Yeah. That's got a lot of cheesy flavour to it. Obviously because of the macaroni cheese. This is a little bit more dense to it. It's got that, that nice. So with that one, with the cheese and the bacon, I found it to be just the right combination. A little bit salty. And with this one, you can taste the cheese a bit more because of the blue cheese on there. But also with the meat as well coming through. Mm. That tastes good. So, let's go through it. So we started off with the chicken wings. There's two left here. Right, there's not much left. Eh? You know how to eat to these weightlifters, don't you? Eh, you don't muck about. All right, so, so these chicken wings, absolutely gorgeous. They've got a nice stickiness to them. Beautiful bit of flavour. Crispy onions, absolutely bang on. I bet that'd be nice with blue cheese dip as well. Then we moved on to pizzas. Neapolitan pizzas, so they've got a really, really nice skin base. Beautiful tomato sauce. This one with the mac and cheese, and the bits of bacon, pancetta on there, absolutely gorgeous. You've got a right nice cheesy flavour with the saltiness coming through with the bacon. Tastes amazing. There's a bit of char in there on the edge. That's good. I love that on a pizza. Then we moved on to this bad boy. You've got your pulled beef there, absolutely gorgeous. Your tomato sauce, the cheese on there. It just oozes flavour, bits of onion. Again, cooked to perfection. So now we've got to rate it, all right? So as you know, it's out of 10. What do you give it? I give this one um, 7.5 out of 10. Right, and what about this one? 10. 10, so you're going to give that 10. What about the wings? Same as this one. 7. Same as that one, 7.5. So you're, you're harsh, aren't you? Yeah, you don't muck about if, if it's not just, if it's not your cup of tea is, is in. So for me guys, you know, if you've been, let me know what you think. If you've not been, let us know. For me, I'm going to give it, I think, you know, I, I sort of agree with you. I think that's nice, that's nice. One's better than the other. I don't know, I quite like them both for flavour. I love the wings. I'm going to give it a solid 9.5 for the whole thing. Huh? That all right? Yeah. So, I'm going to finish this off. I wish you the best of luck in America. All right? Definitely going to keep in touch with you and you need to be telling me Damn it, I am the strongest kid in the world. That's what I want to know. All right, we're following you. Check out, support him. Let's give him some guys. Come on, get behind him because he can't do it in the UK. So we've got to get him to America and we've got to get him be the strongest lad. See you soon. We're going to crack on with this. Let's have it. Yeah. Whoa, stronger than me as well. Ah.